what's up? Uh, Pase Baller here. We are now on the third game for this NBA Game Day Edition February 8. This is a game between Toronto Raptors and Memphis Grizzlies. And uh, before we start, I'm just uh, inviting everyone who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, Pase Baller, please bash on that button uh, below the subscribe button. Also, please include that bell logo or bell button beside it. That way, automatically, you guys will receive uh, notifications whenever we have a new video up. Okay, let's talk about the standings of these two teams first. Again, that's Toronto Raptors and um, Memphis Grizzlies. For Toronto Raptors, uh, they are the number 9 team of the East with 10 wins and 13 losses. They lost their last game. That was against Atlanta Hawks by double digits. While the Memphis Grizzlies, they are the number 11 of the Western Conference team. Um... They are on an even 9 wins and 9 losses record. Um, but the thing about Memphis Grizzlies though is that uh, they are having a 3 game losing streak. Alright, so uh, one of these teams would uh, get back to the winning track and uh, unfortunately one of these two teams would continue their uh, losing suffering after this match. Let's take a look at the details of this game. Memphis would be enjoying the home court advantage and this will be played 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's 9 o'clock a.m. Manila. So Memphis has the home court advantage. Um, I don't see any team having any edge or advantage in terms of uh, call this, uh, fatigue factor because both teams did not play yesterday. You know, They just stayed at home in their hotels and watched Super Bowl. While for... Um, uh, how to call this? While for the momentum, I know both teams are coming off their uh, respective losses, but I gotta say Toronto has uh, the edge in terms of momentum because um, prior to them losing that game against uh, Atlanta, they defeated Brooklyn Nets, and we know how huge of a team Brooklyn Nets is right now. And again, talk about Memphis, they are on a three-game losing streak. So Toronto has... Um, uh, some remnants, so to speak, of the momentum um, in their vines or in their veins. Um, somehow, I can feel that. Okay. Um, let's see what. Let's see what the what my options are in this. <laughs> this one's hard, though. Um, really, because Memphis Grizzlies they are in a three-game losing streak, but they have a very good lineup, right? Um, they have Valanciunas and uh, they have John Morant. Um, perhaps we can just check on the injury list and perhaps that will help us make the decision. Um, looking at Toronto Raptors right now, yeah, there's nothing new, which is good for them. Meaning, um, it's just uh, Patrick McCaw is actually having some progress already. Um, while OG Anunobi is still ruled out for this game. And uh, Anunobi has been out for like, uh, I guess, uh, like a week now. Well, for Memphis Grizzlies, we all know that uh, they have several players out, you know, uh, Winslow, Jackson, McDermott, Tilly, they both been, they're all been out for like uh, more than a week now. Um, but uh, there were a couple of uh, more players added to that list who won't be available on this game against Toronto and they are the Brandon Clark. They're big, very efficient, big at that high flyer, you know, um, high rebounder. Um, and the Anthony Melton. So two players have been added. Um, easily those two players can be a, 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 com a combination of like 20 points and around maybe 8, 10 rebounds. So uh, yeah, that's a huge blow for Memphis Grizzlies on this one. So uh, my pick on this would be Toronto Raptors. I guess that speaks for it. Um, I know, you know, Anunobi is a huge uh, loss for uh, uh, Toronto Raptors, but Memphis Grizzlies just got a lot of people out um, and in, in terms of the, trying to defend Ja Morant um, I think uh, Lowry can do that um, and if Lowry would have some sort of a problem Van Vliet would be there anyway so uh, uh, the combination of Lowry and Van Vliet can take care of that while um, I'm sure Val Valanciunas would actually want to play um, against his former team um, they got Siakam, um, Boucher, um, uh, Baines, who are actually playing inside and who could not really 
take care of you know uh, Valanciunas, but at least manage him and control the output that he could provide. So yeah, I'm picking Toronto on this again. Uh, I'm just really not into uh, a team who has been losing a lot. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of siding away siding away from Memphis Grizzlies. So I'm picking Toronto Raptors on this minus two point five. Let me check. Is it minus 2.5? Yeah, minus 2.5. So, again, Toronto Raptors, minus 2.5. If you got Facebook accounts, please follow and like our page. It has the same name, Passe Baller. Stay there. We'll be uploading the rest of the game. Peace out. Passe love. God bless.